The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Ken Sporting Goods, they have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. And boost performance training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona. This is what it's all about, live postseason basketball, and a welcome to a very special edition of the Inland Sports TV show. If you missed us on Tuesday night at 6 o'clock in our normal time slot, it's for good reason. We were waiting to go live here at CBU, and we've got basketball all over the place. We've got a doubleheader of postseason basketball here at California Baptist University. In fact, there's a live look right now here at the CBU Event Center as the women's game just finished up and we'll get to those highlights in just a moment. But we got UCR as well. UCR women are taking on Utah Valley, or excuse me, Utah State tonight in postseason basketball. So a lot of basketball hoops going on in Riverside tonight. And we appreciate you taking some time out to check us out on the Inland Sports TV show. So Jeff Gorham not with me tonight because Big Jeff is over at UCR, we're kind of splitting up duties tonight. You can check him out on Riverside TV. They're broadcasting the UCR women's game live. I'm here posted up at CBU. We just had the women's game, WNIT, as the women's team was taking on Pepperdine. And just about 26 minutes, the CBU men's basketball team will make its maiden voyage in Division I postseason basketball as they will host Loyola Marymount in CBI action so again this is a very special edition of the inland sports tv show big thanks to our sponsors who absolutely make this happen without them we could not bring you great sports coverage in the inland empire we're talking about spoiled quick quality oil change boost performance training with coach ray bass and ken's sporting goods in norco everybody goes to ken so this is a live look right now at CBU, the Lancers were just on the court warming up. In fact, if I can talk long enough, we're going to keep this live all the way up until tip-off because if you have not seen the pregame introductions they have here at CBU, it is a spectacle. They turn out the lights, big-time introductions, a lot of pomp and circumstance. It's a lot of fun. Fans are still filing in, although it is spring break here at CBU. So the student section might not be what it typically is because this place gets rocking and uh, they really enjoy home court advantage with their student section. But again, they're, they're on spring break. So we'll see what kind of crowd they get tonight. But it's already looking pretty good and fans are still filing in. Again, a double header for the women's game and the men's game. Now, before we get to uh, really breaking down the men's game, Let's show you the brackets because the men are playing in the Roman College Basketball Invitational, the old CBI. CBU taking on Loyola Marymount out of the West Coast Conference. And if you're looking for a common opponent, it would be UC Riverside. 
CBU beat UCR by 10, and UCR beat LMU by 10. So if you do that, right, it's a 20-point win for the Lancers, but not so fast. This is a pretty good LMU team. So we'll see if uh, CBU can rise to the occasion tonight and knock off a very good team out of the WCC in the first round of the CBI tournament. Now, if CBU can win, they would play, as I understand it, Brown University, an Ivy League school. Brown has just defeated the University of Alabama, Birmingham, UAB. So Brown wins, but we do know Brown will travel to either CBU or LMU. Hopefully it's CBU, right? So if the Lancers win tonight, they will host Brown tentatively on Monday night with a time still to be determined. So make sure you keep an eye on this game and also in the next days going forward to see if CBU is going to have another postseason game. And there's a very, very good chance that could happen if they can beat LMU tonight as here come the Lancers. Let's go back to a live look here at the event center as California Baptist is back on the floor getting warmed up to take on LMU in the first round of the CBI tournament, the College Basketball Invitational. Now, CBU has enjoyed a great season, and not too long ago, we were on this very floor where it all began as they played their first ever conference game in Division I in the WAC, and they took on, well, what would be the WAC champion, New Mexico State, as we're going inside the Lancers, presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling. <laughs> Now, in hindsight, we found out New Mexico State's a really, really good basketball team. In fact, the Aggies are in the NCAA tournament. They're in the big dance, March Madness. They won the WAC, and uh, they turned out to be pretty good. But this was the first WAC game here at CBU, and CBU picked up a win. So that's how it all started for the Lancers in terms of conference play in Division I, beating New Mexico State, who ended up going to the big dance. I mean, they're in the NCAA tournament. So that's how it all started. Milan Aqua had himself a ball game. He's been great all season long. But it's, it's kind of fun to kind of document the journey here of the Lancers. But that was a big win against New Mexico State. So we know they can beat very good teams. And LMU is another very good team. But they will have to do it tonight against the visiting Lions. But that was a big win against New Mexico State not too long ago. And again, New Mexico State, a tournament team. But they beat, but CBU was able to beat them in their whack opener. Back here to a live look at CBU. Keeping it live here on the Inland Sports TV show. A very special Inland Sports TV show. Now, let's talk about the women's game. The women's game just wrapped up against Pepperdine, and this was the WNIT. Guys, this is a very big deal. Outside of March Madness, this is the biggest postseason tournament for college basketball, the NIT, right? Well, in the women's NIT, it was CBU opening up the tournament against visiting Pepperdine. Let's go to those highlights as we continue to go inside the Lancers. Inside the Lancers presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling. We had a very tight game. Pepperdine able to grab the lead in the fourth quarter on CBU despite a huge game from Brittany Thomas. She's been a star all season. What a spin move going to her left, lays it in. Brittany Thomas, 21 points, 10 of 14 from the floor. She was fantastic once again. Big triple off the window there by Georgia Dale, but man, Pepperdine made some key baskets down the stretch to hold off a CBU comeback. Final score in this one was 91 to 79. Pepperdine wins, CBU falls, but what a great season as CBU finishes runner up, second place in the WAC in the Western Athletic Conference. They make it to the WNIT, but they fall tonight in the first round of the tournament to Pepperdine. Once again, the final score, 91 to 79. 
All right, we're going to take our first commercial break of this evening as we're leading up to tip off here between CBU and LMU. Just under 20 minutes until we see the Lancers and the Lions going head to head in the first round of the CBI. Big thanks to our sponsors Spoiled, Quick Quality Oil Change, Boost Performance Training, and Kins Sporting Goods. We'll take a quick commercial break. We'll be back. We are live on the Inland Sports TV show at CBU. Focus on the customer here. Believe it or not, that is the biggest thing for customers on an oil change. They just want to, the convenience of coming in, driving in, getting it done, and, and driving out. Just greet them, get them going, and they're done in about 10 minutes or so. We don't push any sales on them. We do the oil change, uh, and I think that's that's what sets us apart is our, our customer service. Vacuumed and cleaned your windshield for you as well. Everything's looking pretty good. Come into us one time, believe me, we'll spoil you and you'll be ready to come back the next time. I played uh, once upon a time at Centennial High School. I was actually on the uh, first ever CIM championship team uh, back in 2000 and then uh, my senior year we won it again. I think that's my passion because I've done it, you know. Um, I know exactly where these athletes are at. I know what their mindset is right now. I know how hard it is to, number one, find a, a, a performance coach who can take you to the next level. What sets us apart has to be, you know, how we work with our athletes and what we know. We can take an athlete and get and you know help them reach their athletic potential, you know, help them, you know, prevent injuries, help get them stronger. I know every single athlete who steps into this gym, I know exactly where they're at, and I'm gonna progress them every week. If you're not getting results, then you know what really what's it about? We're gonna deliver something that's measurable, you know, in terms of speed, power, you know, strength, agility. What's going on guys? Coach Bass here from Boost Training. We have a number of different options to help athletes develop here at the BPC. Whether it's our off-season strength programming, or it's our general sessions, and even our one-on-one -on -one training sessions with either myself or one of our coaches here. So if you need that detailed coaching, book your one-on-one -on -one session today. Please feel free to contact me directly on Instagram, at Boost Training, or on Twitter, Boost underscore Training, or contact me directly here at the gym. Our number is 951-532-4904. The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled. Quick, quality oil change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Kin Sporting Goods. They have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. And boost performance training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona. Welcome back, a live look at California Baptist University, a very special Inland Sports TV show as we are here live on the scene for the very first Division I postseason game, games for the Lancers as the women's team just dropped a 91-79 setback against Pepperdine in the WNIT. 
And now we are getting set for the men's game. CBU taking on a very good Loyola Marymount squad. Alliance team that plays in a very tough WCC with Gonzaga and St. Mary's, just to name a few. Big time battle tonight for the Lancers. If they win, as we first reported off the top of the show, they would play Brown University out of the Ivy League. Brown beating the University of Alabama Birmingham tonight. And if CBU wins, and let's say they do, they would host Brown next Monday night right here at the CBU Events Center. So that's the very latest on CBU. As we're now about 13 minutes, just under 14, uh, until tip-off here. So we're going to take it up all the way until tip-off here on a very special Inland Sports TV show. But we do have some local coaching news that we want to pass along. And uh, it starts with our good friend John Rice, local high school football coach. He is now the head coach of the Riverside Poly Bears football team. It couldn't go to a better guy. Coach Rice, one of the good guys out there, great leader of men. Now he'll be leading the Riverside Poly Bears. I had some correspondence, a little text messaging with Coach Rice, and he says that Coach Bill Powell, another one of the great guys, one of the great local football coaches, Coach Powell, will actually help him run the team. So Coach John Rice will be the head coach, and Bill Powell, whatever title you want to give him, will be helping Coach Rice run the program. I'll see both those guys on Sunday night at the National Football Foundation, Riverside County. Big banquet out there at the new Saboba Casino. So the NFF Awards coming up on Sunday night. I'll see Coach Powell and Coach Rice get all the skinny. And Coach Rice has agreed to come on the Inland Sports TV show next Tuesday night in our normal time slot to talk about joining the Riverside Poly Bears. So from football, we go to basketball. And another good friend of the program, Justin Norman. Justin Norman, the former head coach at La Sierra. Well, he's he's back in the game. Coach Norman will be taking his talents to Norco. Now, if that rings a bell, it's because Coach Norman played at Norco High School, was a star player for the Cougars, and now he is going back. He is going back to Norco High School, and he is fired up with, for the opportunity to take over this Cougars program program it was left in good hands by head coach John Cabrera Cabrera is another one of the bright basketball minds in our area so coach Cabrera will hand off the baton to Justin Norman trying to get Norco going in the right direction as the former Norco star is coming home to lead the Cougars congratulations to Justin Norman the other big basketball news of course is Mark Gard he is no longer the head coach at Harupa Valley Kids are protesting. It's become a social media storm, if you know what I mean. Everyone loves Mark Gard. Not sure what's going on out there with the administration, the leadership, including the principal. Hopefully we'll get some answers because Mark Gard is a local legend and all he does is win. I've said this before on the show and I'll say it again. Nobody does more for his program than Mark Gard. So... Why he was let go, I don't know. We're trying to get some answers. But Mark Gard's one of the good guys and a great, great, great basketball coach. All right, when we come back, we're going to take another commercial break. When we come back, though, we'll talk a little local baseball, local softball on the high school diamond as we are now about 10 minutes away from tip-off from CBU and LMU in the first round of the CBI postseason tournament. History being made tonight at the CBU Event Center in Inland Sports is live because, and a big thanks to our sponsor, Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change, Boost Performance Training with Coach Ray Bass and Ken's Sporting Goods. We'll be back on the Inland Sports TV show. Thank God, first of all. I, I thank the great people that I've got around me that uh, help support me, the people that work for me. As I started, if it wasn't for the people around me, uh, we probably wouldn't be here right now, but I've got a great staff. I've got great people that do stuff for us outside the store, and uh, we've been very, very fortunate. Our service 
is impeccable and we just keep trying to get better every year. We can do online stuff for your teams as well as, like I said, the screen printing, the embroidery. We also have three women that do extra sewing for us, uh, like tackle tool on uniforms or uh, the bling or rhinestones for, for different shirts for the ladies. That's why we have uh, certain racks just just for certain schools, and and the uh, the fun the fun about that is that it turns into other schools that may come in here that uh, aren't as close that we can do stuff for them as well. We've had very very good customers throughout the years, and it's just been it's just been a blast. That is the biggest thing for customers on an oil change. They just want to, the convenience of coming in, driving in, getting it done, and, and driving out. We just greet them, get them going, and they're done in about 10 minutes or so. We don't push any sales on them. We do the oil change. Uh, and I think that's that's what sets us apart is our, our customer service. Vacuumed and cleaned your windshield for you as well. Everything's looking pretty good. You come into us one time, believe me, we'll spoil you and you'll be ready to come back the next time. And welcome back to CBU as we are now minutes away from the Lancers taking on Loyola Marymount in the first round of the CBI. First ever Division I postseason game here for the Lancers. But we got a couple other things going on we want to tell you about as we hit the local diamond on a very special Inland Sports TV show live from CBU. In fact, I just spoke with Daryl Trujillo. He is our senior writer here on the Inland Sports Show. He does a fantastic job. And he was just letting me know that tomorrow, Daryl will be out at the big Santiago versus King softball game. Now, if you know anything about Big 8 League softball, it's tough. A lot of good teams out there. Norco is still the team to beat. Number one team in the section in Division One, probably the number one team in the nation. No one's going to argue against that. Santiago and King, I mean, they both battled Norco. They both lost one nothing. 
But now we got a huge game tomorrow. Daryl Trujillo, senior writer from the Inland Sports TV show, will be covering that game. Santiago and King. Now, I know King stubbed their toe on Centennial in Big 8 League action, but this is a huge, huge, huge Big 8 League softball game, and we will have it covered. Daryl Trujillo will be out there for Santiago and King. You're looking at some video of that one zip Norco win against Santiago. Santiago, those big eight league rivals. Man, they always have great games. In fact, this might be a CIF Southern Section Division I championship game uh, in a couple months, but we'll see. Still a long ways to go, but Daryl will be out there tomorrow for that big game. Now, let's take another live look because we want to remind everybody that we are live at CBU. Nobody does it like the Inland Sports TV show. We are live, broadcasting live from the first ever Division I postseason game here for the Lancers. But we, again, we're still talking about stuff on the local diamond. And this is a good reminder that if you have a big game, a big highlight, and we're not at the game, please send it to us. We'd love to see it. And with this set, with that said, how about Temescal Canyon and Valley View battling just the other day on the diamond? It went 15 innings, no score, and Temescal Canyon would finally get the win, and it looked a little like this as Andrew Villarreal knocks home the winning run for Tabasco Canyon right there. What a rope. One zip, the final score, a walk-off by Villarreal. 1-0 in 15 innings against a Valley View. Big win for Tabasco Canyon. So if you're out there at a game and you've got a big highlight on your iPhone, your camera, Send it to us. It's super easy. Hit us up on Twitter at Inland underscore sports. Big win for Temescal Canyons. Congratulations to them. And Villarreal, man, living the clutch life. Coming up big, that frozen rope out in the left center field. And, hey, we're back on IEMG as well. IEMG ramping up some of their live coverage once again here as we get into league play for high school baseball. Coming up on March 30th, that's next Saturday. We'll have Redlands East Valley and Cajon in another edition of the County Clash. You can watch it live on the IE Media Group YouTube channel. That's next Saturday, 1 o'clock first pitch from San Manuel Stadium, the home of the Inland Empire 66ers. So we will carry that one live on IEMG TV 3. If you don't get the TV channel, that's okay. You just go to the IE Media Group YouTube channel and watch it live. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. Well, we are getting dangerously close to tip off between CBU and LMU. It's gonna be a great one. First round of the CBI tournament. The band's getting cranked up, good crowd on hand. And again, history being made tonight at CBU between the Lions and the Lancers. First ever Division I postseason game for CBU. One other quick note we want to pass along coming up on April 4th, Landon Donovan out of Redlands East Valley and Redlands High School too. He was with the he was at the, with the Terriers for a minute, but he's going to be playing for the San Diego Soccers against the Ontario Fury. That's coming up on April 4th. So if you want to see Landon Donovan, an Inland Empire guy, he will be out there. That's coming up April 4th at Citizens Business Bank Arena as the Fury will host the San Diego Soccers. And don't forget, the Ontario Fury have a U.S. national team star as well as Jermaine Jones has recently signed with the Fury. So you can check out two American soccer stars in one place on April 4th as the Fury will host the San Diego Soccers. This is a live look here at CBU. I was trying to hold out long enough so we could see the pregame introductions. Good reminder, if you're watching us live on the YouTube channel, make sure you hit subscribe to the YouTube channel. We would appreciate it. We're approaching 1,700 subscribers. I'd love to hit 2,000 by the end of this sports season. That'd be a great goal. Let's keep it here at CBU for the playing of the National Anthem, and we'll also keep it here for the pregame introductions here on a very special Inland Sports TV show live from CBU.
Help the players play to the best of their ability and keep them free from any injuries. We pray this all. In the name of your son, Jesus. Amen. For the performance of the national anthem, the Lancer Pet Band. Great job by the CBU band with the national anthem. Quick reminder here, quick programming note. Uh, please check back to the Inland Sports YouTube channel. Right after the men's game, we will have a very quick and brief highlight recap show as we go inside the Lancers, once again presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling. So as soon as this game goes final, we'll bring it right back here live at CBU. We'll show you highlights of the men's game against LMU. And then we'll show you highlights of the women's game against Pepperdine, which was a 91-79 loss for the Lancers. So we'll have a very special edition of Inside the Lancers presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling about 9.30, maybe 9.45, somewhere in that ballpark when this one goes final. As the LMU Lions being introduced to the crowd here at CBU and get ready for the Lancers introductions. A big thanks to our sponsors, Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change, Ken Sporting Goods, and Boost Performance Training. They turn out the lights, crank up the neon, and get it cracking. Again, the student section might not be what it typically is as the CBU crazies are on spring break. Still a great crowd here at the event center. But if they can win tonight, they would host Brown on Monday. And you can bet the students will be out in full force on Monday night. But they got to win tonight. First things first, beat LMU tonight in the first round of the CBI and then host Brown University on Monday right here at the CBU Events Center. And here we go with the Lancers. Again, you're watching a very special edition of the Inland Sports TV show. Nobody else is doing this. And the only reason we can is because we've got great sponsors. If you'd like to join our team, shoot us an email, inlandsportsshow at gmail.com. We are going to wrap things up here at CBU so we can cover the actual game. And again, we'll be back here live at CBU here on YouTube right after the game with all your highlights for a very special Inside the Lancers presented by Magnolia Heating and Cooling. My name is Pep Fernandez. We'll see you after the game. History tonight at CBU. The Lancers take it on LMU. First ever Division I postseason game for the Lancers. Best of luck to CBU, and we'll see you after the game on Inland Sports. The Inland Sports Show is brought to you by Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change. Spoil yourself and your car at Spoiled. Ken Sporting Goods, they have all of your sporting gear needs, letterman's jackets, and team uniforms. And boost performance training with Coach Ray Bass. Athletes of all levels and all sports are going to boost performance training in Corona.